Hi, and welcome to Angie's Tasty Tuesday, brought to you by Transition Nutrition and Fitness Coaching. I'm Angie, and I'm here almost every Tuesday to bring you a new and delicious whole food, plant-based recipe that you can incorporate into your family's weekly menu. Now that spring has sprung and summer is right around the corner, we know that means barbecues, picnics, and bring a dish to pass events. So I'm going to concentrate more on some sandwiches, some salads, and some sides that you can take with you or mix up quick for an everyday lunch that's snappy and you don't have to spend a lot of time in the kitchen preparing it. Today we're going to make a pico de gallo, which goes great with chips or as a little side salad or even to top a salad with that you've made a toss salad with. So let's get started. For this recipe, it's really important to use Roma tomatoes and you want to squeeze the seeds out of the top. So I just gently cut that center part out until I can see the hole, squeeze it over the sink to get all the excess seeds out and then chop my tomatoes. And this is five and you'll use five or six depending on the size of the Roma tomatoes. A couple of mine were fairly large, so I used five. Next we have two cloves of minced garlic and half of a red onion chopped. And I just chopped them together in the chopper. This is a raw salad or dip, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I'm never sure what to classify pico as because it's kind of like a tomato salad, but in other ways it's kind of like a dip, almost like a ceviche or something like that. Next we have one jalapeno seeded and diced thin. If you want it hotter, you can add more jalapeno. If you want it not quite as spicy, you can add a little less. I have about three quarters of a cup of fresh chopped cilantro. Now, if you don't like cilantro, you can use parsley, but I will say it does change the flavor of the pico quite a bit. And two medium fresh squeezed limes. And I put all of the little lime bits in it. You're gonna stir that up and then give it a nice couple or three hours to chill and you've got a delicious pico de gallo ready to serve alongside of a soup, or, I mean, sorry, a salad or a sandwich or as a side at your next picnic. I hope your family enjoys this recipe as much as mine. If you want more recipes like this, you can find more here and here. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and until next time, remember, plants are the best medicine.